This video shows how to create a global function in Visual Basic.NET. What you see here is a ASP.NET uh, uh, web project in with uh, with a back in background Visual Basic.NET. And <coughs> as you see here, I need uh, I'm encoding a string. So this is string of a path as a dimension string of a path, and then here is a actually a function from uh, Visual Basic uh, from ASP.NET in, in VB.NET Visual Basic. <coughs> so, but I, I want my own function in this case. I want to encode a string. So the this means this path should be encoded by should be the encoded version of this one. And I need this function <coughs> everywhere on my project. So I will create a new f public function. And now what we do here is uh, I have a folder here in my class. Uh, it's a classes folder, sub uh, underscore classes. And I would say, OK, first <coughs> I need a new item. And this new item will be a code. And this code is called uh, class function, class public, let's uh, class encode, for example. And I would say add this one. Now this code will be added in here. Where is it? Here, uh, here in code. And here it is. <coughs> so uh, uh, when I'm still in my code there, um, so like this, now I'm able to say class encode. And now I want, when I push the uh, point button, then I will want my new function, or let's say encode, my encode or my enc encoding st uh, uh, stuff <coughs> like this. So I need an encode uh, function by my own. This is my own stuff. So I would say here, um, I need a public for using this uh, over everywhere. We need a public uh, shared function, shared function in uh, in visual basic.net we have we have functions in instead of uh, methods and now we need uh, I would say okay encode or my encoding and as you see there when I, uh, I when I write the round bracket then there comes the by ref or by val so by ref means give me something in original and I still take the ori original stuff. So this is when if I take a variable and I change this variable then this very uh, this string or variable will be changed itself. Usually it's done by by value. So you're putting in a value like this like uh, string to encode. And now we do something inside this function we'll say uh, string to encode, uh, string to to encode. Ah, let's do it like the right way. We will say return return result, <coughs> and out. Ah, uh, this is not the yeah. s result result return s. No, let's do it like this. Dim s result as string at the beginning this is to encode for example so this one comes in and finally we want to get something back and all the function the difference between a sub a sub like this sub function or a function the difference is that uh, a function will always gives uh, a result back so this will say Public shared function shared means it's available everywhere. Encode, and then give me something, and then uh, as string. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. And I would say okay. <clears throat> and finally, we have to say return as result. So this means. When my in my function, I'm always writing like this. This is my function. I would say this like this. My encode function or encode path. 
Let's, uh, let's do the root the right way. Uh, encode path because that's what I want to do in this um, in this function. So, <coughs> and here would be an s path string path. Give me a string variable or something like this, and encode it. And I would say, okay, uh, the the path when it comes in. I want the HTTP utility. This is for encoding uh, HTML encode, and when it comes back, we when we do the uh, first. We're first encoding, and when something goes back, when uh, encode something. So this means when you write something in the uh, in your browser, for example, uh, let's take a default website. Let's <laughs> let's take one. Let's say Microsoft, for example. Microsoft. Oh, my own. Why? Mm, let's take the default Microsoft computers or any any page. Now, when we take a page there, this is now a German page or Tiwago, Twago, and when you have a look there on, let's say, um, where can we see it? Here, when you have here at the background, when I click on there, and you, uh, when you watch here on your the small address will be, uh, which will be started, then you will see. There is a provider get started, for example, with a um, with a dash in the middle, and this will be encoded, for example. So this is encode this one. What is this one? This is this possible or not? Is if I take something in there, and if I would say uh, <clears throat> something in German uh, with a a with a this is a German German letter. If I type this one, this would not be possible. So this has to be encoded in a way which is possible to read in a browser, for example, or a point, a dash, or a asterisk. All that stuff is has to be encoded. So finally, when we encode it back, for example, if we take a name here, my name, name equals. Uh, Herring with a A, then I want uh, the system won't accept that, and I when I want it back, then I need this uh, the 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 uh, encoded stuff. So we are encoding, and when it comes back, then we re uh, decoding that stuff. So now <coughs> we created a public share function, which means now when we are here, we will say class encode and. Now we have this um, public function. Since it's public, we will see it there, and we will we give a string in inside, and the result will be pushed to the backside. And that's what a global function does. You will you will find the code on my website. This is public shared. Shared means you may do it everywhere. You don't have uh, special stuff for that, and. Function means it's Visual Basic. Public means that it, you may see it from uh, from everywhere, from outside. <laughs>